Monochrome. Um, hi there, hello there. What is it? Hey there, hi there, hello there. Oh, uh, 70 Show Bob. We are, it is 8.31 p.m. And I haven't played this game in the last... I, can, I always forget to check on Steam where it says last played. Whenever I click the game and I click the play button, the big green button, I click it. That's when I actually look at the play button. Or that's when I look at the last played area. And it, as soon as my eye hits it, it's literally in the process of changing into whatever date there was into today. So sadly, I do not know when the last time I played this. But I want to say... I want to say five days, not too long, but like five days ish. I really wanted to play this game, but there was a game that was going to leave Xbox Game Pass. I had to play that. Um, there was another game that I was currently, this game's huge, right? This game's like 30, 40 hours. We're 12 hours, 12.8 hours deep. Um, and there were other games that were like close to finishing. So I had to finish that off. And there was another bigger game that I was playing as my main playthrough. That was like four hours out off of being completed. So I had to finish that off. And for some reason, my eye, I'm a mess today, man. My eye, my right eye, for some reason, I think I scratched it while I had sand on my hands. And I think that kind of like, that kind of like did some damage. Because either that or when I took a shower, I accidentally, I'm the stupidest person. I was shampooing and I like sometimes putting shampoo, holding it up in my air, in the air above my head and then squeezing it like, like a swirly on top of my head, which sounds really gross, but like an ice cream cone at McDonald's type thing. And as soon as I did that, as I was pressing it for some stupid reason, I look up to see what's the ceiling like. I don't know what's going on with me. I just, I was, today's a really funky day. So I ended up looking up and um, I had a uh, shampoo right in the eyelid. So that was, that was a fun adventure right there. And I was surfing in the morning and that's when I scratched my eye with like this hard rock sand or something. And it was in my right eye as well. So like today's just a weird day. Today's like the crazy, crazy, crazy day. And have like this weird nasty taste, like a bitter taste in my mouth that I can't get rid of. I just can't get rid of. One story with that actually before we start real quick, story time. I actually went to a restaurant to eat after my workout. Um uh I was working out with my friends, we're doing legs together. Um usually for leg days I love working out with chicks because chicks always know like always bring creativity to a workout. I work out myself. I think I do pretty well. I think I, I, what am I saying? I do perfect when I work out alone doing legs. When I work out with a dude, we do most of, I usually lead the workout or maybe the, he leads the workout, but it, um, it's always me bringing the creativity ish. Otherwise it's just so basic. A, a dude's leg workout is so basic, but when you work out with a girl, a girl's leg workout is like an entire universe. So, um, always, if you have a chance to work out with a chick, especially if she's hot and like fit and knows what she's doing, work out with a chick when you're doing legs, because they'll bring out exercises. They'll, they'll, they'll identify muscle groups in your legs and ass that you didn't even know existed. And you're going to get doms in places you never thought doms could ever peek into that little cooch, gooch or whatever, the taint. You got a muscle in the taint that she'll work out via gym or whatever. So we ended up going and we ended up going to go eat afterwards um i already had my protein shake i went out to go eat so i was gonna eat something light right at a restaurant and we had a hostess whatever got a waitress got a table got a waitress whatever it was me and two other girls and a dude and the waitress was like really i was tired i had a long like i'm telling you the shampoo incident the that was my first shower in the day after the after the after the after the uh the, after the surfing in the morning and then I took another light shower before I came home right now too, before I started playing. But um, I had um, she, we had a waitress and she was like so chummy and like she would only direct. I know I understand you're a waitress, it's your job, most of the time. Like you know you're 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 trying to work towards the tip, but sometimes you can tell when a chick is actually interested in you because all of her conversations, questions, just body language was all directed towards me. When I was the least, I was a person on the table who just didn't care because I'm tired, had a funky day. And I just, it was just one of those days where it's kind of like, just, you just got to push through. So, um, we get our appetizers, all that sorts of stuff. And don't worry, everything's, everything falls into the macros, right? We ended up talking and then, um, amongst, we were talking amongst and she would come in joining the conversation. And then again, she was just, I, 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 it was after a workout and plus I did legs though. So, but I still, when you and I wear legs, I like wearing like a tank just cause I feel like, you know, it's, it's that notion that when you're doing legs, 
where you're supposed to wear a t-shirt when you work out legs because all the blood is flowing to other parts of your body and not your upper body. But I think it gives you more motivation seeing, you know, squatting, you can see like the bicep, the, the whole frame. As soon as, especially when you're squatting, and you can see your lats poke out a little bit, even though your like shoulder blades are back, you can still see like the cool frame of your lats, your chest in a tank. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't see myself in that position a lot. So doing legs, I'll prefer doing it in a tank top or anything like that, or usually like a tank top or something like that. Never like never a stringer or anything. But um, so I had that. So you know, skin was showing. It was a little slutty today, but um. She ended, she was having so many conversations and then somehow, um, they brought up the topic about, you know, people giving numbers, uh, nowadays, fake numbers to people. And then she joined in on the conversation. It was like, how do you can, how can you tell on the spot that if some dude or chick gave you a fake number, you just have to like, it's one of those things where you can have a conversation with somebody, you'll know that they actually gave you a fake number. You don't have the conversations going. Even if they give you your number nowadays, a number is meaningless. Like with Instagram, yeah, but usually you don't ask for an Insta or a Snap or any of that stuff when you're in person, like having a conversation. It's usually a number. Number is it's one of those things you can already see them. You want to look at pictures of them at that moment. Later on, you get the IG, whatever, because you get her name or her name, his name, whatever. So she was like, I would love to give you my number. And she said it towards me. And, um, oh no, is this, is this your way of getting my number? Because I would love to give you mine. And she said that to me and I wasn't even looking at her because I was just I was staring like at, at, uh, at the table and just like I was just like I want this conversation to be over like I just want you guys like, I want to just like I want to just talk to my friends I don't want to talk to a waitress I just don't not I don't want to be I'm just waiting until the conversation is over so I wasn't really saying much and um I have this habit wherever I'm sitting um I'll play with my fingers or I'll do something because I like how it, how my forearm looks when I move my fingers you can see all the different fiber muscle fibers and stuff moving around and i think it looks really cool so i was playing around with my sounds really gross when i say it like that but i was playing around with my hand and my you could just play around with my forearm muscles and things like that because it, it reminds me of bruce lee when he used to do you could see all of his different fibers i always like to do that and then touch it and mess around with it and just be able to feel all the different muscles in my arm i know it's stupid conceited cocky whatever i love myself um so when she said that i said huh yeah no thanks don't want your number and i said it not like that. I said it in a much ruder way without even thinking because I really wasn't part of that conversation. But she was talking to me throughout the entire thing. And all of a sudden, it just got quiet. It got so quiet. And um, like I'm paraphrasing what I said, but it was much worse than what I said because I can't really remember. It was something along the lines of, Haha, your number? Yeah, all right. I don't know. Thanks. And um, got quiet. And then I'm just, again, just sitting over there and playing around with myself at the table. And my eyes slowly go to my friend who she's she's sitting like diagonal with me. I, my 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 uh, what do you call it? My eyes kind of like go across the table onto her chest and then it goes up higher. And then her eyes, and her eyes are just like like an owl. I want to say like an owl because they don't blink, right? They just don't ever blink. And their eyes are like freaking huge. I, I, I don't know any 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 animal mammal insect that just has huge eyes and it just remains huge. Like I felt her eyeballs were about to fall out of her socket. And then it hit me on what I just said to this, this chick. She was really sweet. We tipped her like crazy. Um, and, but she wasn't my type. She just wasn't my type. And I wasn't interested. But yeah, if she was hot, then maybe I wouldn't have said that. I'll, I'll, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say that. Oh, maybe I wouldn't have said that. And then 100% if she was hot, I'd be interested and I'd talk to her. And even if I don't care what type of day I would be having, I would have conversation. Usually I small talk with everybody. But I just one of those days where I just I just I felt like, you know, if I just if I take a step across like a uh, men's bathroom, I'll slip and fall like head first into a urinal. I just this is one of those days where everything's just going to go wrong. And when I open my mouth, what happens? Something goes wrong. So she just walked away. She didn't say anything and she just walked away. And then I realized what happened. And yeah, we tipped her good. But it was one of those things where. The reason I'm saying this is because I have that weird taste in my mouth where someone spits in your food. And um, I felt, we felt like that, actually, we all, like, they felt it more than I, that we just can't eat there right now. We just have to leave, come there when, like, a waitress leaves or something because they're going to circle jerk spit our food. Basically, circle jerk spit is, like, when 
everybody in the in the back the kitchen staff the hostess the waiter that your 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 plate legit goes around the world within that restaurant and everybody throws in a loogie a spit and just and then just that's what you're basically eating is a circle jerk spit or around the world spit whatever you want to call it so we ended up leaving and um we gave her a huge tip though and uh i wrote on the note i'm sorry but i don't want to go look for her either um, wrote a note, I'm sorry, I apologize. And then we gave her a fat tip, and then we just dipped. We didn't even eat, we just dipped. And, uh, yeah. And ever since then, it just, I feel so, I feel so bad. Well, kinda, not really. A part of me does, a part of me doesn't care. But a part of me just still feels bad. But the funny thing is, now that I know that if I would've eaten there, I guarantee would've been eating a soup of spit, I can't get that taste out of my mouth. I feel like whatever I drink, feels like someone spit in it. So I guess that's God's way of punishing me. I don't know. Still, left her a fat tip. This is a very long story time, but I just... If you guys are going to hear me like... <laughs> slurping my own mouth water. I was going to say mouth feces. That's gross. Drinking a lot of water and then like gargling and stuff. I just can't get rid of that taste in my mouth. That bitter taste. So, yeah. Again, apologized on a note because I, I wasn't going to go in the back to look for her. She was in the back for a... We waited. We waited an appropriate amount of time. I want to say like five minutes, seven minutes or something for her to come out so I can apologize. Um, she never came out. So uh, we ended up giving it to the hostess instead and tell her to give... I think her name was like Monique or something. She's like this Latina chick. I think she was mixed. I felt so bad, man. Well, at the moment I felt bad. Right now I'm like, eh, whatever. Because I'm a douche. But it's like, I still feel bad. I, 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 I sincerely would want to apologize to you, Monique. I think her name was Monique. I really didn't pay that much attention. Either way, yeah. Story time, a little thing about that. So it's just been a, it's been a, it's been a weird day. And my mouth just, anything I drink, even bottled water, that it newly, I crack open the seal, it tastes weird to me. Um, but yeah, that was longer than I expected. I took my glasses off so I couldn't see the time on the OBS, but 12 minutes into the video, we haven't even started playing. But yeah, a little story time, feel free to skip. And if you did skip, let's start the game. Um, last time we played, uh, Dunkin' Donuts 2, Goodbye Despair. Um, we found out that the chubby pervert did it. So now what we're gonna do is go through the conversations and find out if, is Monokuma gonna punish him? Well, I think he should because he, he homie, homie, literally killed the homie. Uh, chubby homie killed the homie. And funniest thing is that he didn't kill anybody with, like, food poisoning. He actually killed somebody by stabbing. But he did use a kitchen utensil. So I'm gonna give him that. He used the, uh, iron skewer or whatever. Alright, so this story is like ingrained in me, so I don't need to recap, but I would highly recommend to watch The Trial. Um, because that has been one of the most fun I've ever had recently in a game. That's this style of a game. So I've had a blast playing it. Um, I feel like we've got an understanding how the trial goes. Um, I'm gonna make sure that playing with the problem is when you play with this kind of, these kinds of games, there's a lot of conversation, there's a lot of talking, and a whole lot of no moving. So I usually like to play this game where I'm playing it while I'm playing something else that is more, you know, controller or MNK, like, like FPS or something like that. Either way, um, yeah, so there are some finicky things about the uh, um, trial, the game mechanics for the trial, the trial mechanics. But this game is like, I don't know, a hundred, like two gigabytes or even less than that. This game is small and this is a simple game and I love it. I love it. Right now it's hovering at like a nine nine and a half right now so without any further ado let's begin i'm gonna do my best but again i'm very tired i just really want to play this game at least for an hour squeeze out an episode um and i just want to see what the trial is going to be i want to see I, I just this entire time that i haven't been playing this game which is funny because i really want to play this game but i can't stop talking but this entire time that i haven't played this game i've been playing other games i've wanted to just play this game and find out what the hell is the um punishment and what's going to happen. All right. So without any further ado, let's do this. Monokuma. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, last time I played this game, I played it for like three and a half hours or something. So I do want to get in a B for a sesh. Hopefully this weekend, I'm going to try to get in a juicer where we just play this game for another like two hours or something. And I think the most I can play this game or any game when it comes to that is two, two and a half hours. After that, I got to stop and go like, you know, eat some sand or something. Or see some booty because it's just it's just it, i just i can't sit in front of a screen this long like that okay we're slowly building up but i don't know i do want to stream one of these days but i don't know how that's going to happen with my intention span and my ability to not sit in front of a computer for too long but that might change because i'm actually 
conversing with individuals rather than just sitting and playing a video game while talking to myself all by my lonesome. So again, if I was doing this while on center stage of like a strip club in the background, I could do this for like 15, 20, an hour, a day, 10 days in a row. I wouldn't have any issues. Anyways, got to get back into the voices. Hmm. Dale, now that you are knowing that your sister has been dealt with, let's get back to business. Hold on a sec. I'm not asking for, 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 for forgiveness anymore, but <laughs> at least. How do they decide when they're going to talk? I don't understand that. How do you decide when they're going to talk? So I know. <laughs> Call me chef? No, no, wait, that's not. Please, please tell me at least. Please tell me at least what happened to the Hanamura Diner. To my, to my sweet old mama. Yeah, I feel like at the very... Mm, I guess it fits the punishment that you don't tell him what exactly happened to his mother. I gotta be honest, she's she's ill, and I know he was doing it to get to her or whatever, but she's ill, and they're already gonna go out of business, or have been out of business, and this is like their second time coming back out of business. By now, I guarantee she dead, or she's in the hospital, she's falling and can't get up in the bathtub, or the, um... The, uh... This, the diner 100% closed. 100% closed. It's like a drug den by now. It's a trap house. I, I won't. I, I won't believe it. You say Okach. Oh, he didn't say Okasa. Okacha. Oka. Okasa. Otosa. I, 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 gotta, I gotta talk to my mom, man. She gotta teach me Japanese. Are you serious? When I was playing this last time, all I had to do was go through like three dialogues and I would have seen this? Alright, Terry Terror has been found guilty in time for some goddamn punishment. I just love the graphics of this game. The way it shifts between things is amazing. I'm sorry, I was blowing some stuff off my glasses. It's one of my favorite things about the season one, watching these uh, kills. Ultimate kill, Terry Terry Hanamar execution executed. You got You got it. You got to cook them, right? No shot. You don't cook them. No shot a missile. All right. So he was tied to a pole, a wooden pole. Oh, those are ingredients. They're not missiles like that. They're ingredients, right? Yeah. I sneeze so loud. Yeah, I, uh, so they, a lot of food. He's been marinated. Now he's going to be cooked in a volcano. It's gotta be painful as hell. Has anyone ever fallen into a volcano and lived to tell the tale? He's being cooked. All right, so the missiles were like different ingredients, like oregano, thyme, sage. Is it thyme or thyme? Sage, rosemary, flour. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I love that she's always foaming in the mouth. I know this might sound gross, but I want to catch that phone with my mouth. I know it sounds gross, but I gotta say it, man. Why did you do something so cruel? Didn't you learn when you went to elementary school? If you were bad mouth, if you bad mouth someone, the teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you bad mouth read it to you in front of the class. When that happens, only then do you think about how it feels to be bad mouth. The same applies to Moido. You're the one who drove him to do it. So cruel. This is just too cruel. Well. It, well, it can't be helped. 
Rules are rules. This is the killing rule after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the goddamn rules. Mm -hmm. Huh? I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? However, there's a catch. Don't tell me the catches. <laughs> because it's out yet. That's right, you guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Then you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. Do you think he picks his own belly button or he has someone do it? What? Why? Why didn't you tell me Terra Terra about his tell tell Terra Terra about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know. Yeah, us too. We all have a right to know. Hey, hurry up and tell us what do you mean earlier when you mentioned our skill memories? Oh yeah, I did put my promise to return your memories after all the killing began. You're not going to do, you're going to do it, but telling them is kind of... But I never told you, you guys, that I'd tell you right away. <laughs> Nani? That's not fair. I can't do her voice, man. Of course, I'll keep my promise to show your memories someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. He only has teeth on one side of his face, so like, does he chew everything on the left? Because, you know, that's like Cavity Central, homie, right there. She got no teeth, dog. <laughs> I was gonna do something so bad. Oh my god, I, gotta say, I was gonna say something so bad about having no teeth. I must excuse myself as well. There's something that I need to do. Oh, she didn't take a dump. Look at her, she's sweating like crazy. Huh? What, what the heck? That's not fair. <laughs> Did they both run away? Monokuma had us wrapped up around his finger after all. Teru Teru, you stupid pervert. An ending like this is just full of despair. A seriously tragic despair. Homie, I'm gonna backhand the hell out of you. You are the one who drove him to do it, dog. Oh my god. How am I supposed to live with Nagito when I know Nagito Komita is a goddamn fool? But still, at times like this, <laughs> as the symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. Timmy. You, why are you smiling? Look again! How can you smile in such a situation like this, you creep? Mm. Hold on, I'm sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you, from the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimate to inspire hope. You are splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when we've lost such a talented individual. Don't go saying creepy shit, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Please, kill me at any time. No. Nani? <laughs> oh, there he is. Bipolar homie dog, split personality douche. If you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. <laughs> If absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special indeed. You how? You how messed up are you? Hmm. However, if you're going to kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending on helping the killer who's gonna kill you? <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. If you're students of Hope Peaks Academy, and if you're the symbols of Hope who possess the chosen talents, then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? Hmm. Declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer? Nah. Nah. Maybe this was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. Well, I don't mind what you think of me. It's an actuality, thanks to Byakugan, I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. This entire time, the last couple of days that I've been playing this game, I've been, I've been, I've been going balls deep in my own mind trying to figure out what this dude, what this Byakugan's actual name is, because I couldn't remember. I kept calling him, uh, Byak, uh, Byakuku, but I'm pretty sure it's not Byakuku. Bya, Byakuya, Byakuya. All right, I like our better Byakugan, but yeah, for the longest time, I couldn't, 
I could see the letters in my mind, but I couldn't think of anything but Byakuka. Mostly, I just feel I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you, one after the other. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, can I punch ya? I just want to be satisfied till I punch ya. Fine. Let's stop this already, man. It's just it's just gonna waste time. This is gonna be a waste of time if we can keep if we keep dealing with them. Huh? Even Ajumai hates me now. That stings. I felt you and I were quite similar. What does that? You hold a special feeling towards Hope's Peaks Acad Hope Peaks Academy, just like me. Don't you put me in the same category as you? Oh, look, look. don't you put me in the same category as you, I man? Mm. Better watch your mouth, boy. But how can you say you're not? Well, Akuma said it himself. We don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> now, if it's that true that our school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves, too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent is. You know what my talent is? My pants woman on the zip, dog. Huh? You want to see my talent, dog? Kane, please feel free to punch him. God damn, she gotta calm down. She need to calm down. Ah, oh, god damn, will do. Matte kudasai. Please, please stop this at once. Nothing will come from fighting like this. There, there is something else that we must do. Something else? We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There, there is something more important we must do. We are trails? Do our best, Kambate. Hmm. We must first leave here and get some rest. And then we shall work together and do our best. And do our best so we never have to come back here again. That is what I believe we must do right this second. Sumimasen, if only I was a better motivational speaker, I would have you guys all listening to me. Again, I'll do something really bad. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta cleanse my mind, man. I gotta visit like a church wall or something and like rub my scalp against it. No, that really touched my heart. You're totally right. What we need to do right now is do our best. And if we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, right? Hi. Hi. That is right. Hontoni. Komenasai. But what do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I do not know, but we must do our best at whatever it is. Jeez, I don't get you at all. Are you some kind of moron? You better watch your mouth, boy. You better watch your mouth. I don't care what Yakuza party clan you homie with. I'm going to unzip, I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to twist it. It's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you all hold on to that feeling that you have to do your best. Kambate. So. You know what the crazy thing is? Um, Yesterday or something, I just uh dropped off my friend to... Uh, the airport, LAX to, uh, they're in, uh, she's in route to, uh, Japan, Tokyo. Yeah, pretty cool, right? So let's do our best. Let's make a killing and like this never happens again. Let's make sure a killing, oh, make, let's make sure, I need to stop improvising. Let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. Demo. It's scary, but doing our best is our only option. There's just, there's just no way I'm doing what Nagito said. <laughs> All right, I don't know what y'all are talking about, but let's do our best for now. I can't do a deep grunge female like, like a thug female voice. I just can't do it. Yokaro. Yokaro, even if we aren't able to change the future, I guess I should at least change my tomorrow, including my diaper, gerbil diaper. <laughs> Damn friend, I won't give up until the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul, I do declare and fight to the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this damn island. And it's not like Monokuma just heard every single thing we said and watches us take a dump on the toilet as well. It's not like he's watching us wherever we are. Do our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again, even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Yeah, but those cheap, empty, meaningless words, cliches, are the things that boost positivity and make you feel better on the inside because you know what those words mean. So just wanted to say that. Cliches are cliches for a reason. 
Regardless, we still said it. And we continue to say it over and over again without stopping. I'm good. I was like, about, I ain't about to talk to everybody individually, dog. Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Byakugan and Teru Teru were. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize this. Every time there's a killing, there's a murderer you have to find out. So every time this stuff happens, two people leave. This entire time, I was like, wow, one person leaving the crew is going to take so long. Not that I care about how long this game is, but I just realized there's actually two people every time. So, yeah, what are we like 16 people here? So we just lost two, 14. I think we're 16. Or it's one of those things where there was always a 17 student. You just didn't know. Also, I would like to make sure that Teru Teru and Byakuan are actually killed and don't come back. It's not one of those things where you fake your death. I don't want to see that. I don't, I don't want to see that garbage, right? So take the pants off, finger in the butthole, and make sure they're not alive. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabawaki Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. Homie, this ain't your cottage, dog. After experience, is that you still experiencing? Experience, yeah, they, eh, after experiencing something like that, there's just no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around hotel grounds for no real reason. I thought you're not allowed to do that, though. After not doing much of anything, I dully looked up at the sky. Also, the hope fragments. You know how we're collecting hope fragments? What did we do with that? Because I thought we would have found out by now. We went through an entire class trial. We went through the investigation, the free time, the trial, the punishment, and no mention of hope fragments. They're in that report card area. But like, how do, what do I do with those? And those uh, Monokuma collectibles, uh, those are, uh, those make sense. You get those and you get coins, like, like number of coins. Also, what are those? So, okay. So you get the collectibles that give you those Monokuma coins or whatever. What do I use those coins for? And the hope fragments, what do I use those for? And there, just like before, there it was. The night sky brimming with stars. Stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. Also, this game reminds me of, um, what is that? The Truman Show, right? With um, Jim Carrey, where the entire world is just a big old dome. So what if something like that's happening here? As I looked, what if it's a virtual reality type thing? As I, cause I feel like nowadays you don't even need to go anywhere. You just plug everybody like sort of art online type, something like that, where you just plug the people in like matrix and that's a virtual reality. So they're all sitting in a room and nobody actually died. What if that happened? My brain has like a, I have so many thoughts in my head right now. It's just insane. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right. I'm definitely going home. Hmm? That's when it happened. As I stared at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. He was feeling his first erection. I'm telling you, this guy hasn't hit puberty yet, so. And then while I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiff. I'm telling you, with that sensation, your blood is rushing right now to your equator. Below your equator. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? You got surveillance cameras everywhere, dog. I just got goosebumps. I legit got goosebumps. Is that a satellite? Days left. 19 days left and 7 hours and 40 minutes. Chapter 1, Destination Despair. This just reminded me of Death Note for some reason. I'm not even watching Death Note today. And Surviving Students. Oh, we were right. It was 16. Oh, I was about to say, you go, what he's telling us, Akane over there. To be continued. I can't believe I just had to play that much to get to this point when I was playing last time. Obtained present. We also got an achievement. Dead Man's Party. Uh, Three-star badge. Dead Man's Party. Finished chapter one. 68.6% of players have achieved this. Obtained present. You obtained a present wooden stick. Oh, wait. Was the first... The three-star badge is that was that a present or was that just a three-star badge? Okay, all this stuff is going to Akane, by the way. So, if you guys are wondering. Actually, wait. I think it has been a week since I played this game. 
for a long time humans of humans have been taught that if you try hard enough you can try to come you can accomplish anything Wait, is this not us talking? Because it sounds like us talking. Is this not us talking or is this Nagito talking? Who the hell is this? Is it, is it uh, the 15th, the 17th student or whatever? Please don't be like that. I think that's Nagito. That's a caste system, man. That is something I am so against. And it's so sad that there's places in the world that still follow that caste system. And it's so sad. You, you, you can't decide what you're born as, who you're born as, your DNA, genetics. You can't choose any of that. It's given to you. And you're telling me you're going to, you're going to, you're going to discriminate against somebody upon those factors is the stupidest thing ever man they don't have a you don't you don't get to choose that you're just given that now your personality and the choices you make in life those can be judged because you're actually making them you had a choice to make them or not but this is just messed up for people who think like this <laughs> Why do I think a split personality is the one that just is he thinks of himself as worthless? Genetics dog. Also trend setter. Cycling. Steroids. Jetpack homie. People with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. So, yeah, I do believe that people are born with certain talents. Not to say that that I, I, that's one thing I always thought is that. There's people out there who are probably good at s such cool things, but they've never tried those things, so they don't know. But like, I, when I think about myself too, I'm like, what if I have a talent that I don't even know? Like, maybe I'm a I, I could figure skate. And I'm like a super good figure skater, or like I can I can solve. I'm like a, an astrophysicist or something. Like I'd be actually good in that because I, that's something that if I tried it, my my the way I'm wired would actually be you know helpful in being talented in that. But I don't know what I'm trying to say. But yeah. But that doesn't mean that you can't be good at other things that you're not talented at. あ、ああ、ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
we have rope we have so many different things here man we get grab a toaster and go for a swim and stop saying stepping stone I guarantee you he has an erection as he's saying this little monologue speech or whatever. He has a hard on. Oh, shut up. Pow. Chapter D. Sea and punishment, sin and coconuts, daily life. Why don't I just put ER? It's just two letters. Take the dot away, put ER. Byakugan and Teru Teru died just last night. An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact that I still get hungry for some ass. I learned this firsthand as I headed towards the hotel restaurant with deary, sullen footsteps in search of Akane Awari. Oh, we're getting right into it, huh? Haji, huh? man, you're already here, man. Good morning, dog. Uh... Yo. Good morning. Just as I thought the atmosphere in the restaurant is absolutely gloomy, I thought we would be celebrating someone's birthday today, but goddamn. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. Dude, why are we looking at his Byakugan, who appointed himself for our leader, was killed, and that person who killed him was our friend, Chubby Pervert Teru Teru. And that friend was also killed right in front of us. Was he though? After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel sad. So I guess this is like a little recap. Like a two sentence recap. Two sentence recap. Huh? You guys don't look so good. Your faces all look like you just attended two funerals in a row. I guess some people don't feel sad. She puts up a front. When the trial was actually happening, she was she was she was going wild. She's putting up a front. That's like what happened? B Byakugan and Teru Teru got killed. I'm not talking to you, you ugly bitch. <laughs> Why are you always so mean to me? Still, I understand about Mr. Hammonds, but is there even a reason for us to be sad about Teru Teru's death? Oi, oi. What the heck do you mean? Well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone he totally deserved to die. Oi. I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. Huh? Is it alright to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? Yeah. No, that was not my intention, but... No. Then you gotta hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart. He's a stupid piece of trash, bastard, who committed the lowest crime possible he deserved to get killed. In fact, I'm rather relieved he was executed. If I could have, I would have totally spat on him too. i join you on that. But I feel that it's good that he got killed because you don't want a murderer near you. And now we got goddamn, um, what is it? We got goddamn, um, uh, Nagito to deal with now. Hey, what gives? Does a pea brain like you have something to complain about? Well, it's not about that, but something smells, don't you think? Hey, again? Don't tell me it's better not be another dead body. Mm. Nah, it's not the smell of blood this time. It just smells really bad. It smells bad, yeah. Sorry about that. I, I ordered some Taco Bell DoorDash the last night. And, uh, well, I just... I'm lactose intolerant and I can't resist saying con queso at the end of my order. It's kind of like how a bar or a nightclub smells after closing time, you see. How do you know that? Yeah. I didn't know those smells. You must have had a pretty rough life. Now that you mention it, I do smell something like it's a sewer or a rotting garbage. Oh, did they not pick up uh, Byakugan's body? I know what it is. Nekumaru's breath probably stinks. <laughs> you got me there. She didn't say anything. She didn't say anything remotely funny just now. Mm. No, it's not Nekumaru. The smell is coming from... Oh no, Peko Peko. Close your legs. You, Hiyoko. Huh? Whoa, it's true. Hiyoko, baby girl, you reek, dog. You stank. Close some legs. Ron smell stings my eyes as if a demonic eclipse is about to commence. Uh, uh, wow. 
You know that old thing in your back of your throat that hangs? Just whenever she said, whenever she was crying or screaming, you could see that thing in the back of your head. And all of a sudden, a huge rush of my childhood memories of watching Ed, Ed, and Eddie just pile through my brain right now. That is insane. Now that small little thing I looked at did that. Made that made that happen. But yeah. Oh, she's crying. I've said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. Hey, baby girl, you better watch that mouth, eh? Oh, I know it actually doesn't smell that bad. I mean, as long as I breathe with my mouth. If it smells, I can never breathe with my mouth because I'm in, I, in my mind, I'm taking even more nasty air inside of me. And I feel like it's going to go into my stomach. I just can't do it. I'd rather just bleed. bleed I'd rather just smell. I'd rather just use my nose because I know my nose has like some sort of filter on it type thing. I don't know. I'm stupid like that. Are you even taking bats? <laughs> oh, she looks cute. No. You haven't bathed? I, I, I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono sash by myself. Okay, ask somebody, man. Hey, Kyoko, you don't have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? That's not a good thing. Someone's, she's going to ask someone to tie her sash. And Ma, we're going to think Maharu did it. She's, okay, Hiyoko's going to die. People are going to think Maharu did it. Because she was the one who offered a tire sash afterwards, and she's gonna get stabbed from the back with her sash not closed or semi-closed. That's my that's 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 my that's my uh, prediction. Hick hick. Really? <laughs> I can only tie a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. Bye. I love you, Maharu. I'll give you a kiss. Ew, no, no. <laughs> hey, Hiyoko, you don't have to hug me. Oh yeah, she a lesbian. She a lesbian. Nothing wrong with that, though, by the way. Yeah, she appears to have taken a liking to you. Welcome to the world of girl love. It's slippery when wet. <laughs> the air is suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings aside and move on like this. I guess I have these guys to thank. Anyway, what happened to Fioko and Yagito? It seems they're both not here. Oh, uh, now that you mention it, you're right. Nagito's probably beat him, beating him off. I saw Fioko early at the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Well, that's Fioko being Fioko, but huh? who cares about Nagito? <laughs> He's cursed the child of some his misfortune, to so to speak. Well, that may be, but just letting you know, I don't know anything. Without hesitation, I, I don't know anything about Nagito at all. Oh, you know something. He's right. Forget him. Let's just forget about that creep already. They're obviously acting suspicious, aren't they? I'm not suspicious at all. That's right. I'm not suspicious. What's up? Did somebody get kidnapped or something? You, you came out in just the right time. Not the right time. No, it's nothing. I don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. Your outlook on life has changed into my cuteness, so your body can't stand to live without me. Oh, the... We into bestiality or what, dog? I can't help myself, you know. My body reacts to Monokuma on its own. Something like that? Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. To be honest, to be honest, I'm certain too. My value servant has disappeared. Servant? You know my mono beast. One of them just disappeared. Huh? One of the mono bees disappeared? Maybe I cut back on your cost of your food too much. Perhaps you're boycotting me. But that guy is the weakest of the League of Four. How shameful for a mono beast to lose to a mere human. That's what you want to say, right? Hmm. No, this is merely the prelude. The climax will occur soon after. Alright, Gundam, Wings, whatever. You gotta tell me if you won't talk that much, I right? Now then, let me hear you scream. I shall make such sweet music for you. Hey, Gundam, you should stop playing with yourself and that stuffed animal. I'm still being called a stuffed animal. Oh, well, it looks like you guys don't know anything about my mono beast, Ido. 
It's always a time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. Hi. A wise cat bot once said, our eyes are on the front so we can keep moving forward. As Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us, once again he disappeared. Hey, what do you think he just meant just now? He said something about a mono beast disappearing. Actually, I haven't even seen them since like, like the beginning time. They're talking about like they disappeared, but we were in like a lot of places and we didn't even see them anywhere. I thought the mono beast would be used during the punishment, but they wouldn't be used during there, right? I don't think so. Uh, the only possibility I can think of is... Were you in the middle of something? If so, I can come back later. Huh. Then leave. At least ask me to leave kindly. Hey, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Did you have anything to do with the disappearing Mono Beast? Uh, yes, that's what. I'm the one who defeated that Mono Beast. You did? Defeating a monster like that, how the hell do you pull something off like that, dog? <laughs> I'll talk about you more in detail in a different mode. Anyway, I've released the bridge gate for you all. I love when she says, nah, nah. I love that. So adorable. If the gate is open, that means we can go to the new island across the bridge, right? Is that crew? Yes, that's totally right. Now that you can all go to more areas, let's all get along and live a fun life together for sure this time. Loaf, loaf. Living together, living together on this island isn't what's important. We need to find a way to escape. Yeah. Of course, escaping from this island is our main goal. <laughs> Nobody wants to live in a swashbuckling Hollywood type action film. I want, I want, I want to live a life where I can, I can be more average. A, a life where not, nothing hap nothing happens and that's better for me. All right, if you find anything that can be salvaged for both parts, let me know immediately. It seems that everyone united on the path that's different from what I had planned. Then let's disperse. The time has come to release the cursed seal. All right, let's find a way to leave this island. That is impossible. Huh? Leaving the island is no longer possible. No longer possible? What is that? Huh? Oy, oy. Hey, Hajime, just leave that thing alone already. After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's better if we don't get that close to her. You're right. It seems everyone's attention has shifted towards exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that'll help us escape the situation, everyone filed out of the restaurant. What about breakfast, dog? I want to see how I kind of eat. I think... I, yeah. Okay, do you guys see a Monokuma? I would love to talk to this shorty, but she's stanky. Alright, we're gonna stop right there. Uh, sorry, I apologize. I talked for so long that we barely even did anything, but we saw a punishment that was pretty big. We ended the chapter, we started chapter 2, and we now know that Mono, Mono Beast is missing. Nagito uh, is also doing something we don't know about. Um, Nekumaru and the guy with the yellow dude with the chompers, the yellow jacket dude with the chompers, is also up to something. Um, Hiyoko is stinky, and um, Maharu is into that, and she got, she blushed when she said that she was going to get kissed by um, Hiyoko. So, a lot of stuff happening. And we're going to be back next time for some more. I apologize again for talking so much and doing the story time. But I can't help myself and not talk. But yeah, um, it's late. I'm going to I'm gonna end it. I'm going to go eat. I'm going to go relax. And then I'm going to want this day to be over. Uh, so we can start a brand new day with some fresh adventures. But this game, I will be... Like for you guys, it shouldn't really matter how long I've played. Because now that you guys are actually seeing this video, you're seeing... Um, You've seen it every single day so even though i'm gonna be taking breaks here and there maybe you guys will still see it here and there but uh but yeah so yeah, i will see you guys all tomorrow thank you so much for watching and until next time i am me and i am out so peace